push that to win. Yeah. Existence is unity. Gotcha! Kings or devils, I'll crush them all! All will be swept away by the wind. Reach the end of the story in your own way. be swept away by the wind. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Disciples of Saint Dismith. Eticus were in hiding for so long. Now they finally show their face. Did the Master Diviner fail to foresee this? Be careful, benefactors. The disciples of Saint Dismeticus worship Yaoshi, the plague's author, the greatest enemy of the Xianzhou. The Alliance has been trying to root out their secret organization for millennia. It's no coincidence that they've chosen this moment to reveal themselves.
away by the wind.
Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. True Marvel. No match for me. be swept away by the wind. Enjoying yourself? away by the wind.
Who goes there? Show yourselves! Wait, it's you. Quickly, in here! It's dangerous outside. You recognize us? Are you not the General's guests? The Master Diviner prophesied your arrival. We were ordered to wait for you under any circumstances. Yes, the Master Diviner ordered us to remain stationed here and went to scout ahead. They're saying the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have returned. They haven't been seen for an age. The troops are anxious. It's good that you're here. The Master Diviner said the Knights weren't to move out until you arrived. Please wait in the camp. We'll decide on our next steps once the Master Diviner returns. That the Cloud Knights received orders not to advance is a bad sign. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I have heard the name before. If memory serves, they're an underground sect of the Abundance that's said to have lain dormant within the Sienjo, plotting to overthrow the Alliance. The Stellaron has certainly caused Abundance-like abnormalities. Is that what motivated the Disciples to come out of the Shadows? No. The Knight's main force remains intact. Something must have happened. Something we're not aware of. The Master Diviner isn't here. Let's head into camp and see what we can learn from the troops here. Good idea. Why don't you take a look around, Benefactors? My feet need a rest. Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. There's no time for idle chat. We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, those who worshipped the plagues author. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. And after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Curse it! What Sanctus Medicus sorcery did they use on us? The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Mara-struck form around others. To do so means that we have given up on being human, lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood, and violated the Rainbow's admonishments. What the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus did are despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. I swear to the Arbiter that I will avenge my comrades. You want to ask questions? Uh, uh, fine. But I must be present the whole way through. This part needs to be recorded as testimony. <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. These Cloud Knights are so serious, so boring. <laughs> yeah. What did we do? We cured our kin. <laughs> It must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. You scum! If the order allowed, I would cut you down now. Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Mara struck? Bah! It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus to eliminate the self, to achieve transcendence, a life of true freedom. I see a desire for power in your eyes. 
This life is too short for you, isn't it? <laughs> I can... I can help you. Don't listen. His words are poison. We're just having fun, sir. <laughs> Without the blessing of the abundance, you short-life species would never be able to endure the transformation. Master Diviner, you're back. I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the Disciples is laid bare to me now. Apologies. To avoid dissemination of intelligence, the General and I kept the involvement of the Disciples to ourselves. It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the Disciples have remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? Sharp as always. I knew we'd spent too long around the Master Diviner. Now we're predicting the future. Oh, let me guess. What are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines? Leading the Cloud Knight charge? Well, try this on for size. Nope! I can't stand any more of this fighting. So there. <sighs> Who said you'd be heading to the battlefield? Uh, we're not? Jingyuan's orders. He said that the value of unexpected guests lies in the unexpected. The Cloud Knight's assault was to demonstrate our power to the enemy head-on. Now, it is time for the unexpected. Please, come with me. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Lawfu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Sienjo natives into long-life species. The but in the end, the Alchemists grew discontented and began to obsess over the manipulation of life. Research into the Arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it, the more they longed for it. Morning bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? What huge elixir crucibles. There's still smoke coming out of them. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. 
Since the smoke from the Crucibles never ceases, this place was named Eve Mist Mansion. An elegant name, but as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the Crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mara struck? Indeed. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus infuse the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, no one can know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale of an army? The Cloud Knight's first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention, while we douse the Elixir Crucibles and stop the smoke. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus renounced their century of secrecy and chose to reveal themselves, meaning they feel confident of victory. But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. You misunderstand the nature of the Marastrak condition. It is not a curse unique to humankind. Foxians don't usually succumb to it because their lifespan is not eternal. Yet they are still a long-life species. The Vidyatara rely on molting to discard the old world. All long-life species are equal in the face of Mara. However, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short-life species. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by unexpected guests? I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions of the Stellaron Hunters were more accurate than mine. The future that Kafka seeks is becoming reality. One step at a time. Rather, only this way leads to the known best result. If we can afford to choose, then none would choose to leap off a cliff. Besides, this is not my decision alone. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the Lafu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the Elixir Crucibles without being harmed by them. What say you? <sighs> Fine. I didn't hear a please, but... Seeing as we do kind of have superpowers around here... Mr. Yang, what do you think? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fend for yourselves. 